Hey amigos, que tal? Stuart here. Today coming to you again from Portugal and I'm going to do a video on one of my favorite things about this country and it is Portuguese food. Portuguese food is as good as Spanish food in my opinion. In fact, in some things I prefer it. It's a cuisine that uses a lot of fresh ingredients. This particular part of Portugal on the coast uh, a lot of good seafood, fresh vegetables, absolutely fantastic. And we're going to go to uh, two, three restaurants and uh, try out some of the local cuisine. As I just mentioned, this part of Portugal is famous for its uh, seafood, fresh fish. So we're going to have um, a couple of those dishes and we'll also try a meat dish. And we'll see if we can get a good uh, prato de dia, which is uh, like um, a, a daily uh, special or like a, a meal of the day. Now this part of Portugal is a tourist area but because it's the beginning of December there's not a lot of tourist activity. The weather is actually quite good. Uh, the sun is shining, uh, the temperature is quite good. So we're going to try and get some uh, good value food without the typical tourist uh, prices. So uh, let's see what we can do. Let's go. Okay, it's time for lunch. We're going to try the Portuguese food experience. We're going to go to a restaurant here called Chakra Beach Bar. In the area, it's number one or two on the uh, TripAdvisor list of recommended restaurants. I'm going to see what the plate or dish of the day is. and I'm going to try that and hopefully it'll be a Portuguese classic and uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, so that's the first meal in Portugal done and dusted. I went for the plate of the day, which happened to be a nice Portuguese style pork that they call carne de porco a portuguesa. Uh, it's very similar to another dish that you'll find here in Portugal, which is called carne de porco a la lentigiano, which has clams. This version doesn't have clams, but apart from that, it's exactly the same. Served with rice and potatoes. Everything was fantastically cooked absolutely brilliant uh, washed it down with a nice bottle of Portuguese rosé quite reasonably priced as well we also had a dessert some salad as well the total bill came to 44 euros and 50 cents very reasonably priced in my opinion for the quality of the food the views were absolutely fantastic of the sea and uh, just a really good dining experience of uh, traditional Portuguese food what more can you say? Absolutely fantastic and definitely a thumbs up for that dish. Uh, Portuguese style pork. So we're just going to go for a bit of a walk to uh, burn off a bit of the food that we just ate. Okay, so that's lunch done and dusted. Second day lunch. I went for the Portuguese meatloaf. Very, very tasty. We also had a linguine and prawns. Very tasty as well. Salad to begin with. Washed it down with a Portuguese red wine, the house wine. Also dessert. Total bill for three people came to... 39 euros and 50 cents quite reasonable in uh, anyone's books especially for this part of the world fantastic
Now you can also say that Portuguese food might not be as sophisticated as Spanish food, but for me that's the secret of what Portuguese food is because it's the simplicity of the dishes that you try here, the natural ingredients. There's, there's not a lot of elaboration. Uh, they're quite simple and as I said fresh ingredients which really make the difference. Not a lot of herbs and spices if you're looking for spicy food uh, really this is not the country for you but if you're looking for fresh food that's well cooked and a great variety of dishes then Portuguese food is definitely one to try. Today we're going to go and try the fresh fish experience again. We also had fresh fish the other day but we're going to go back and have some more fresh fish today and uh, I know that that's going to be a good experience because this place is known for its fresh fish so uh, that's what we're going to be trying today. Okay, so that's another meal here in Portugal done and dusted. Today we went for the fresh fish. Uh, we also had a fried fish dish which was also very, very tasty. To start we had uh, a couple of soups. We had a fish soup and a vegetable soup. and We also had an entree of fresh prawns as well. Very, very good. Washed it down with a bottle of wine and some coffee for dessert. The total bill was 45 euros. Now we haven't spent any more than 45 euros for the whole time that we've been uh, on this Portugal dining experience. So Portugal is a country where you can eat well for a very low price in my opinion compared to other European countries and of course Australia where I come from where food is very expensive. So that's also something you need to keep in mind when you come into Portugal to eat, that food in restaurants is not expensive. And if you go for the uh, cheaper options like the, uh, the, the uh, daily dishes and those type of things, it's even cheaper. So food in Portugal, summing it up, uh, cheap, simple, tasty, and it gets my thumbs up every time. Absolutely fantastic quality food in this country.